Hello reformers and welcome back to Geku Kujo. Now, my plan for this particular episode is to capture Iwo Jima Castle and then head back to one of our towns that we own, potentially Funai, and sending out an emissary, perhaps to the Oda clan and potentially try to form an alliance. That might be quite advantageous at the moment, although I'm not entirely sure how open they are to that, considering they own a rather considerable portion. As you can see, they have actually retaken Kasuguyama. I think they have retaken that at least. I am unaware of whether someone else was actually owning that before, but for now, we will be taking Iwo Jima Castle. Let us do it. There is actually one vassal stationed here, so we may have some issues, but thankfully, it is a ladder castle as well. Also. A recruiter has brought 50 recruits to Funai, so that's rather good too. Okay, here we go. We are now ready to lead our soldiers in an assault. And oh my, okay. So we have multiple ladders, which is always good. And now let's just take a look. Oh my, ouch. Okay, that hurts. Okay, so let's put our archers out the front here. Hopefully they can... No, not infantry. Oh my goodness, no. Charge the infantry and hold the archers. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, cool. So, let's go up there now. And, hmm, I am a little skeptical about whether I could actually get up this ladder without being shot by these archers. So, I'm going to try and take them out beforehand. That would be the smart thing to do. Usually, I don't do this, so... <laughs> whatever you would classify that, yes. Foolhardiness, perhaps, yes. That is probably the best definition. Oh my, there we are. Took out that guy, and we're getting quite a few headshots here. Not bad at all, if I do say so. And I'm hoping to be really lucky and get that guy. Yes, we got him very nice. And do you think we can get this guy? I doubt it somehow. Can we? One more shot, and we'll see. No. Okay. Well, let's go up the ladder and hope that we don't get sniped. Oh my. Okay. It seems we need to send our archers in. Our infantry is actually doing a very good job indeed. As you can see, wow, they've actually cleared out all of the battlements here. That is insane. Okay, I had no idea our infantry were that good, but apparently they are, yes. I gave them too little credit, oh no. They're going to rebel against me. Okay, so let's actually tell them to hold position and maybe snipe some of the enemy archers down below right there. And now let us help the Shimazu Hatamoto guards. Yes. Take that. Oh yeah, okay. Luckily they are very fragile to take out, as you could see there. And now we will take out the only guy we couldn't snipe from below the wall over there. And there we are. This nest is now cleaned out, and we can do some potential sniping of our own. Oh yes, nice headshots going on here. Ooh, and they've just spawned in some more units. That is not good. But hopefully we will prevail. We are the Beartilled clan, after all. We have the power. Yes, reinforcements have actually arrived. That is good timing, I have to say. Okay, there we go. Take out that guy. And... How many arrows do I have left? Five. Ooh, that is not good. Maybe I can find some more here. Because there were a few archers actually up here. Ooh, arrows. Are they a lot? 19! Aha! Nice, okay. That is going to help us continue the reign of power and death upon them. Okay, I'm thinking I'm actually going to charge in the archers now. Just so they don't block any of our infantry, just in case they want to continue moving. As you could see, on the right there, they were slightly blocking them from coming up the ladder, so that is not a good idea at all. And now let us just continue the headshots, as much as possible at least. Their helmets seem to be blocking quite a few of them, which is rather unfortunate. As you can see there, I think I hit him in the head, but he was very hardy indeed, and he refused to go down. Yes. Okay, I think we should go now. Let's do it. Oh, no. We can't actually jump here, can we not? Oh, yes, we can. Good. I like the freedom of movement. Okay, let's go. Come on, we need to get down there before our forces already win. Okay, maybe it's a bit too late for me actually to start moving. Yes. Okay. There we are. We were victorious. So oh, yes. So now it is just a case of who to give this to. I think... Hmm. 
I'm not entirely sure. It's either Lord Hoshi, of course, or Lord Gonosuke. Hmm. Okay, well, we will see how many they have. Aha, okay, I think I will give this to Lord Gonosuke. There we are, that is a lot better. Yes, okay, and split the money. Only 466 added to the treasury, but that's not too bad, I suppose. And there we are. It is now under our control. That is great. Okay, so now I will head back to Funai and hopefully be able to speak to my... Is it my Chancellor? It might be my Chancellor. And attempt to send an emissary to the Oda Clan, because we were a part of the Oda Clan before we defected. And it would be nice to mend the fence, as it were. So let us head in, go to the castle, and see whether we can actually interact with our Chancellor. Yes, Constable, and Chancellor, yes, hello. Okay, please send a gift. I think that's probably what we want to do. Sending a gift will cost us 50 mon. That is not a lot. Please send a gift to a lord. Oh no! We have to actually send units of Saki? Ah. I see. Or, aha, if we have enough in our household, I will induce a servant to deliver it. Wow, this better give me a lot of relation. I have no idea whether I can actually do this effectively. Because I don't necessarily know where to go to get Saki. Maybe I can go to the marketplace, or I have to go to the... Ah, not bad. Or I have to go to the villages, but yes, you can actually buy them here, so that's very nice indeed. Okay, so let's just check my inventory real fast, and then we'll go to sell everything automatically. That would be very nice indeed to do. There we go. Continue. Thank you very much. Okay, not bad at all. Very quick way of selling. And now I think I will be sending sake or soy sauce. Fish sauce is apparently the most expensive, so I guess we will be doing that. And why didn't I sell these? That is rather strange. Why didn't these get sold? <laughs> oh no! Okay, well that's fine. Shall we just sell these manually? Yeah, it's easy enough anyway. Bullets? No, they're bent. That's fine. Any more? Bent arrows? Oh, it's because I didn't tell them to sell everything. Aha! Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So, I think what I will do now is I will very quickly head to Hakata. I will check for some fish sauce, and if there is some, then I will cut back. Okay, so we have actually run into a trap of bandits in Hakata. And obviously I should try to prevent myself from entering these towns and marketplaces and so forth at night, because this has a rather increased chance of happening, I believe, at night. So, yes. <laughs> Not exactly great, I have to say. And it seems as though my bodyguards are chilling out, for the most part. Not really assisting me, but I suppose being here and giving me moral support is good enough, yes. Okay, so yes, as you can see, we are at Hakata, and now let us attempt to buy nothing at all, apparently, because they do not have any fish sauce here. Okay, well, I may attempt to actually go to a village and check out whether you can actually buy fish sauce from them, although to me that doesn't seem likely because it is a rather expensive item. And just before I entered Hakata, Oka Castle became under siege, so I guess what we will do is we'll take a round trip and head to Oka Castle and then we'll head to Kumamoto for the potential fish source right there. So let us attempt to do that right now. There is a recruiter right there. Hopefully he won't get attacked, but I'm sure he's smarter than that. So let's head over and make sure everything is okay over here. Otherwise, <laughs> we're going to be in for a few retaliatory sieges. Oh my. Okay, this is not going well, as you can tell. Oh my. Well, let's check Oka Castle really quickly, and then we will head back to Hakata if this is okay. It appears... How many are stationed here? 21. Is that all Lord Gonosuke put in here? That is terrible. Okay, well, I'm actually going to just have to let this guy siege this at the moment, because... 
I have to get back to Hakata. There's nothing I can do. I really have to get back there, otherwise... Hmm, that's going to be taken rather quickly indeed. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to take out this guy really fast, if we can. Let's see how fast he moves. Five. And I'm moving at an extraordinary rate. Okay, that's great. So, there we are. We can now take him down. And then I will rush to Hakata and attempt to actually defend in a siege. That would be rather nice, instead of obviously intercepting him on the battlefield. I think that would be quite a nice change of pace. So, let us take a look where they have actually spawned. I don't think I really need to use any tactics in this particular battle. Maybe in the upcoming one, near Hakata. So let us go. And let's see what's going on here. Aha. Okay, they mainly have village recruits, so I don't think I really need to worry so much. And now we just have to wait for our units to catch up. Oh yes. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. I think I'll send my cavalry over there. And then they can charge in from the side. And like now, for instance. Nearby soldiers. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> okay, so yes, as you can see, our cavalry are coming in from the, well, coming in from the flank, but there really isn't any reason to do anything more extraordinary than that. As it appears, Kaguya, Mei Ling, and every elite Onabushi are doing an amazing job at taking them down as it is. So I think we can preside over the battlefield as Great Lord Beartild and admire our forces at work. Oh yes, and wow, the horsemen on the other side are actually doing a very good job at escaping. <laughs> okay, well, there we are. Let us actually see the west guy over here is actually running away, okay. It's actually unlikely that one of our horsemen are actually going to catch up if this guy is a high-ranking cavalry. Which could be possible. What is going on here? Oh, it's actually not a cavalry. It's actually just a regular guy. Okay. Well, if he escapes, then good for him. If he doesn't, then there we are. <laughs> the victory is attained. Wow. Okay. Our horsemen are pretty useless, actually. What are they doing? Yeah, there we are. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I was going to insult him even further, but apparently... He thought it would be a good idea to take him out. So there we are. Very good indeed. And, whoa, this guy is minus 19. We are going to be taking him anyway. And, ooh, our relation with the Oda clan has increased from 1 to 2. So that's a pretty minor step, but it's a nice increase nevertheless. So let's take a look at our units and make sure that they are all leveled up correctly. I think Miyoshi become archers. And, yes, here we go. Shimazu, they become infantry, I believe, and just the rest will be fine. I think Otomo become archers. Yes, I think they do, actually. And cavalry, I have to remember that, they do become cavalry. Miyoshi, they will become good archers, I believe, and I am not entirely sure on their infantry or cavalry, so I think we'll just go for infantry for now, and if one of the others levels up, then we will modify that a little bit, in case. And there we are. Very nice indeed. Now we will head to Hakata. And hopefully my recruiter over there will do a really good job at placing his units in Hakata. Please? What is he doing? No! How come I can see him on the map, by the way? I have no idea how I can see him on the map and I can't see anyone else. That is weird. Maybe you can see your recruiters because I saw when I was all the way over here, I believe I saw a recruiter running around here. Look, there is another one. Aha! It seems as though recruiters are visible on the map at all times. That is cool. Okay. Well, now let's just make sure that we get back to Hakata in time. And oh my, here we go. This is payday for us. Oh my, yes, as you can see, we are gaining a, wow, very exuberant amount of cash, 33,562 every week. I suppose that is what you get for taking the towns. And now let us hope that Hakata is not taken. Oh my, okay, well, 
This is exactly the reason why our recruiters are being a little cautious here. Great Lord Mori himself has actually turned up to siege Hakata. So, we are going to be a little sneaky here and head in. There we go. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm actually going to recruit these guys just because we need as many units as we possibly can. And now I will just sell some equipment. And... Oh, a large bag of stones. Yes, that's very useful. Okay. So, there we are. Okay, that's great. And now I will wait here for some time and hope that they... Oh, they are actually attempting a siege. So, I wish them good luck. Let us see now how they do. We have 188 troops and they have 312. So, let's do it. Okay, so... We have a battle advantage of minus one. That is expected, I suppose. Although we do have a very high tactic skill, so maybe we are in for a harder fight than we think. Hmm. Okay, so let's get out our bow and do some headshots. I think that would be a good way to start off this fight. And I don't think I can actually miss because they don't have shields, of course. And we're getting some nice headshots going on there. Make sure they don't get up here. Oh yes, there we go. Uh, luckily, they don't know to actually hold their archers down at the bottom there. <laughs> oh yes. Oh my goodness, they do know how to actually do a lot of damage though, and I am stuck there because this village recruit thought it would be an excellent idea to stand right behind me. How lovely. <laughs> Otherwise I would have moved away a lot quicker than that. Okay. Well, let's get out our Naganata and do some rather serious damage to this wall. Because the wall deserves it. <laughs> yes, no. It's just my units are blocking me slightly, but that is all fine. Oh my, and I cannot actually see because of the icons. Ah, there we are. That's better. We actually took out an enemy vassal. He is not going to be pleased, that's for sure. And, whoa, as you can see, we actually have a few of our archers in the tower over there. That is going to provide a rather suitable amount of cover fire for our infantry down here. I think I should try my two-handed sword now. Make sure that we get as much damage as we can. Ah, yes, this seems to be working a lot better, as you can see by the kill feed. We're actually getting a very large killing spree going, which is always good. I would like to actually get to the top of that tower and do some sniping action myself, but I suppose I have already done quite a lot of that. So, I suppose not really needed. And we are completely massacring them. As you can see, no... None of our units have actually been... Oh, okay, never mind. As soon as I start saying that, yes, they get taken out. So, there we are. Uh, that is the way of things. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, new enemies have arrived. Wow, they are actually being rather persistent. I'm surprised, considering they are taking so many heavy losses. Okay, well, let us continue our onslaught of their offense, and hopefully they will eventually decide to break it off. Come on, let's do it, Bruce. Come on. Yeah. Okay, we're taking out quite a few here. Maybe if I go first-person mode... Oh, my... This is a little bit too dizzying for my taste. I am not sure who would play in first-person mode. I suppose it is rather nice in certain points of the game, but in this particular instance, I would say not, because <laughs> it's just a little bit too dizzying with so many units around. So, yeah, so I think in a one versus one situation, it would probably be quite immersive and fun. But, as you can see, a lot of spamming going on right there of attacks and so forth. Okay, so back to the sniping. Hopefully we won't get taken out because they did a rather sizable amount of damage to me last time I was here. And I'm actually going to attempt to take cover a little more fervently than before. So if I do get shot at, then I will have a rather quick response to it. Oh, yes. Okay, so it seems as though they don't really have very many high-level units left, unless I am incorrect, and they are going to spawn in a ton in the next wave. 
And I have no arrows. And Kaguya has advanced to level 17. Yes, that is amazing. Good. Good work. Okay, so... Hmm. I think this is actually the last wave for the enemy. It looks like it is. So, yes, there we are. We are rather fortunate indeed to have taken them out so easily. Wow. Okay. Yes, as you can see, only one enemy remains, and that is it. The defense is very successful indeed. We were actually outnumbered two to one. So, yeah, that was great. Very nice. So, there we are. We took out all 312 of them. Eleven were wounded, and we gained a lot of morale, which always helps. And we, <laughs> of course, gained some relation with our own clan. So... Let's see. I am actually going to let this guy go, just in case he wants to join us later down the line. We're going to let this guy go as well. And, oh, the Great Lord escaped. I really wanted to take him prisoner. Uh, okay. Well, there we are. That is the way of things. Okay. So, now, let us level up a few units. I know Kaguya did actually advance in level, so we will have to speak to her after this. And I'm actually going to level up one gunner just to make sure. Hmm, master gunner? It's not an elite, but yeah. We will soon see how they do. Miyoshi? Miyoshi are archers, yes. Okay, so let's actually take a look at the Otomo Samurai archers. They become masters as well. So the next level of the Otomo's gunners, we will then see what they are best at, although <laughs> I really need to check the text file for the troops, and that is it, very nice indeed. Okay, so what do we have here? Hmm, quite a lot of good stuff, we will gather all of that, oh yes, and then we will speak to Kaguya to level her up. Okay, so what was she on the way to doing? I think we were going to go for one more in Power Strike, and one more in Strength, and then we will go for... Oh, actually, she's an Archer, isn't she? She doesn't really need Power Strike that much. Hmm. So I think, instead of that, we will go for Power Draw. Yes, that is the way to go. That is a good idea indeed. So, there we are. She is now leveled up successfully. And, wow, a lot of other people want to be leveled up as well. Elite Archers for the Amico. Very nice. At least we know about them. And I believe that is most likely going to be the end of this episode. So, next time on Gekakujo, we will hopefully have enough time to find the fish source. I will most likely do that off screen, just so it saves you the time and, yes, anguish of watching me try to find fish source. And so then I will be able to send a gift to the great lord of the Oda clan, hopefully. So. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.